Hi guys, welcome to the second part of the video series. In this part of the video series we will see how to do UV unwrapping of this adorable reindeer model in Autodesk Maya. So let's get started. So here we are in Maya. In the previous video we have seen how to create the model, and now let's start with the UV unwrapping of this model. First I will click on these three buttons, to center pivot, delete history, and freeze transformation. Then select this body, and isolate it. Now go to UV then select UV editor. Now for this part, I will apply planar mapping from Z axis. So go to UV, and select planar mapping option box. From here, select Z axis and then click on apply. Now for my convenience, I will stack the UV editor on another panel. For that, go to Panels, then to Save Layouts, then select Perspective slash UV Editor. And now go to Edge Mode, select this edge loop around the nose, go to UV Editor and cut. Now you can select this UV shell and move it aside. Now let's select the middle edge loop, and cut. And now I will separate the legs. So I will select all the edge loops around the leg area, and then cut them. And then select these legs UV shells and move them aside. And now let's separate these UVs of the ears as well. Then select these UV shells and move them aside. And now select this UV shells and unfold them. After that, select the necessary edge loops, and cut them. And then separate the UV shells, and after that unfold them separately. Now over here, I have to fix this cut edge loop, so I will select these edge loop, deselect the other edges, then apply move and sew the edges. And after that, I will select the necessary edge loops, deselect the unwanted edges from UV editor, and then cut them. And then select the UV shells and unfold them separately.
After that, rotate these shells properly. And then select all the UV shells, and then lay out them. Now turn on the checker texture, to see the distribution of the UVs. It is looking good. I will select this mesh and then hide them in a layer. And now I will do the UV unwrap for the rest of the parts. Since these two objects have similar topology, I will do the unwrap for one part, and apply transfer attribute on the second one. And after that, I will delete the history, and then select the UVs, and lay out them. And now over here, I will apply straighten UVs, and then unfold along U and V couple of times. Basically it is the same process for each object. You have to do a planar mapping from a suitable axis, then cut the necessary edge loops, and then unfold them to open up the UVs properly. Now over here, straighten UVs is not working properly. So I will apply move and sew edges on these two parts. Then unfold the UV shell. And then again apply straighten UVs.
And now since these objects have similar topology, I will do the unwrap for one part, and apply transfer attribute on rest of them. Shift select these objects one by one, and press G key to repeat the last command. And finally I will unwrap one of this antler, and later on I will transfer the UVs to the other one. All the UVs have been unwrapped properly. Now I will rearrange the layout separately. I will keep all the UVs of the DEER model in one layout. The UVs of CAP in a separate layout. And the UVs of MUFFLER in another separate layout. As you can see right now, I have separated the UV shells in three different layouts. One is for the body, one is for the muffler, and another is for the cap. To move these UV shells you can use the transform tool under UV toolkit and rearrange the layouts. After that I will apply three separate materials for three sections of this model, and then export out FBX file to import it on Substance Painter to texture it. The UV unwrapping part is complete now. In the next video we will do the texturing of this model in Substance Painter. Stay tuned for the next video. So guys, I hope you like this tutorial. Subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications first whenever there is any new video in my channel. Feel free to ask me anything regarding this video in the comments section. Stay safe, and I will see you on the next video.